What's going on guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of The Drop, the weekly series where I bring you the hottest news about the games coming out across the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Switch, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about it right here. And this week is a pretty big week, of course, we've been ramping up to the big fall release season with Spider-Man coming out last week. This week we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider and tons more coming out over the course of the next few weeks. But for right now, let's dive into what's coming to a console slash PC near you in just the next couple of days. To start things off this week, we have Shadow of the Tomb Tomb Raider coming to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Experience Lara Croft's defining moment as she becomes the Tomb Raider. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara must master a deadly jungle, overcome terrifying tombs, and persevere through her darkest hour. As she races to save the world from a Maya apocalypse, Lara will ultimately be forged into the Tomb Raider she is destined to be. Survive and thrive in the deadliest place on Earth. Master an unforgiving jungle setting in order to survive. Explore underwater environments filled with crevices and deep tunnel systems. Become one with the jungle. Outgunned and outnumbered, Lara must use the jungle to her advantage. Strike suddenly and disappear like a jaguar. Use mud as camouflage and instill fear in enemies to sow chaos. Discover dark and brutal tombs. Tombs are more terrifying than ever before, requiring advanced traversal techniques to reach them, and once inside, they are filled with deadly puzzles. Uncover living history. Discover a hidden city and explore the biggest hub space ever found in a Tomb Raider game. This is the third game in the rebooted Tomb Raider franchise, and overall, it looks to be a pretty good game. Of course, in 2013, we saw the launch of Tomb Raider, and then we saw Rise of the Tomb Raider a couple of years later, and now we are getting Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which looks to be just more of the adventures of Lara Croft, and overall, I've heard good things about the game. My only concern with this game is that it is going to get overshadowed, no pun intended, by the other games that are surrounding it. Of course, last week we had Spider-Man, in a couple of weeks we've got Black Ops 4, then after that we've got Red Dead 2, and tons more coming down the pipe, so I'm just worried this one might get kind of shoveled into the deck with the rest of the games that are coming out and people will simply forget to play it or choose to go a different round and spend their money on a different game. But that's a video for another day. What you need to know is that if you are interested in the next adventure concerning Lara Croft, you can check out Shadow of the Tomb Raider when it hits PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC this week. And man, is it nice to have, finally, a simultaneous console release. That is just sweet. Next up, we've got NHL 19 coming to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. In NHL 19, hockey returns to its roots by taking the game to the great outdoors. Play on outdoor rinks and journey from the pond to the pros in new and returning modes. That was a rhyme. I respect that. Compete with and against over 200 of the greatest hockey legends, including Wayne Gretzky, the one that everybody knows, all powered by the cutting-edge gameplay technology Real Player Motion Tech. RPM Tech delivers, get this, explosive edge skating explosive edge skating with faster acceleration and more responsiveness. A new collision physics system also adds bigger jaw-dropping hits. Introducing World of CHEL, a brand new game hub of new and returning creative character modes united under a single reward system. Design your character and progress to earn custom gear, equipment, and over 900 new apparel customization options, including lifestyle clothing like hoodies, jackets, winter knits, and more. A nice winter knit for your NHL experience this year. Express yourself with a unique look and personalize your game with brand new player classes and unique player traits that give you the freedom to look, feel, and play the way that you want. When it comes to NHL games, they're always fairly well received. People simply like to play a good hockey game, and NHL 19 looks to be continuing that trend. Of course, you have this RPM tech uh, that delivers explosive edge skating, according to the description, so that sounds to be a pretty exciting thing. Uh, but overall, this is just another NHL game that is just improving on the foundation that the previous year laid down, so if you are a fan of hockey, you might want to check out Wayne Gretzky and over 200 other of the greatest hockey legends in NHL 19 when it drops on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One later on this week. Continuing our trend of sports games, we have NBA 2K19 coming to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One after last week's launch of NBA Live 19. A very interesting dichotomy that one is. NBA 2K celebrates 20 years of redefining what sports gaming can be. From best-in-class graphics and gameplay to groundbreaking game modes and an immersive open-world neighborhood, NBA 2K19 continues to push limits as it brings gaming one step closer to real-life basketball excitement and culture. And now a couple of highlight points for you guys. Take control with TakeOver. Harness your My Player's full basketball potential with the new TakeOver feature. Unlock special moves and abilities never before seen on the court or activate Team TakeOver and unleash the power of your full squad. Run the neighborhood, make a name for yourself out on the court at the Under Armour cages and during live events on the block. Ball until dawn. Ball until dawn. With new day to night transitions, walk on at the Jordan Rec Center or get the old crew back together for exciting three-on-three -three action. My team, create your very first My Player card and ball with LeBron, Kobe, and the rest of your collection in a variety of competitive modes. Is ball still used as a verb in the basketball lingo? I don't really... 
Okay, introducing the new Unlimited mode, allowing you to pick any five cards from your deck and battle against other players online. And My Career, the original career story returns with an all-new immersive narrative, charting your journey from China to the G League and eventually the NBA, featuring an all-star cast, endorsements tied to your personality, and new team chemistry elements that allow you to dominate the hardwood. I'm really liking the direction of these sports games because they're kind of stopping taking themselves so seriously, if you want to bear with me for a moment to let me explain that. Uh, so with the NHL game, you have this new outdoor rink kind of setup. With the NBA games, you have this kind of streets setup where you're playing on literal neighborhood basketball courts. I love that kind of thing because for me, as somebody who is not really into basketball, that sounds way more appealing than playing just your standard kind of basketball setup on the hardwood like I would expect from any other basketball game that I've ever seen in my life. I feel like it's a very welcoming kind of game for those that might not necessarily be super into the sport of basketball. And of course, in about a year or so, right before the next game comes out, this one always tends to drop uh, to a relatively affordable price of around 10 to 15 bucks. So will I pick it up at some point? Maybe, who really knows? Uh, but I'm digging the way that the games are trending, and hopefully we will continue to see this year after year. But if you are into NBA 2K, then you might want to check out NBA 2K19 when it comes out this week on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Or if you want to go completely against the trend, again, NBA Live came out last week. However, I would probably recommend it be a 2K19 if I'm being totally honest with you. And finally, to wrap everything up, we have the Scribblenauts Mega Pack coming to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. Get the best of Scribblenauts with the Scribblenauts Mega Pack, two classic games with all new content to explore, and that is a very liberal use of the word classic there. Uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited, journey into Maxwell and Lily's world as you use the power of your imagination to solve exciting puzzles in endless ways. Discover the story of Maxwell's 41 siblings. He has 41 other siblings. Wow, parents were busy, and create unique objects of your own to share online with your friends. And you also have Scribblenauts Unmasked, a DC Comics adventure. Challenge your wits in an epic adventure against Earth's mightiest villains, invent your own alter ego with the hero creator, join your favorite DC Comics superheroes to explore iconic all new locations like Titan's Tower and Belle Reve, and restore order to the universe. With Scribblenauts Unlimited and Scribblenauts Unmasked combined, the fun is limitless. Scribblenauts is a pretty cool game. The last one that I played was probably the original one on the DS. I don't know what it was, but it was a pretty fun little game. If you're into puzzles, if you're into using your imagination to craft certain things, like you pretty much just type in like dog and a little dog pops up and you can solve puzzles and stuff like that. Of course, with Scribblenauts Unmasked, it's going to be more DC comics related, which could be up your alley. If you're into Scribblenauts Unlimited, I would assume it's pretty much just like the base game, but with more options there for you as well. Pretty cool idea. I would recommend it if you're into something that's a little bit light to, to cleanse the palette, if you will, after some of these other hardcore games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And so that wraps it up for this week's episode of The Drop. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to drop me a like down below and share it on social media like Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, whatever you might use. I don't know. There was a couple of weird ones. A hinge? No, that's a dating app. Uh, but if you happen to be new to the channel, I do host a gaming news show right here at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube.com slash Samuel Adams Media. If you did want to check that out, I bring you the hottest gaming news from around the industry every single weekday, and it's always a good time. But as for right now, I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. I will talk to you soon. Peace.